All right, folks, we got some action going on here. That's all I got to tell you. My dear friend, old Charlie out here, we kicking some bass. We kicking some bass. Let's get another shot of that. Look at this big pig right there. Woo! What are you talking about? Uh. Swim bait fishing in the spring. All those in there, look at that. And son, <laughs> telling you, we love it. Lake Fork at her best, man. She is producing today. <laughs> Just another good swim bait fish. I tell you, gotta love it. Another solid swim bait fish. Springtime, pre spawn. Woo, we might have bumped eight mark, people. How about an eight pounder? I mentioned this all throughout the DVD. This is a fun bait to fish. You just gotta let them eat it. There's several of them that are out there that are really good. And, uh, you know, the main thing is kind of play around with them a little bit. You'll find which action they want. The tail action may be a little up, a little less, you know, thump or whatever. When you've got a lot of wave action like I've got here today, you really need to have a tail that's going to thump. And uh, this big tail is the one that does it so well for us. So stay tuned. We're going to go get us another one. I'm going to retire with that. It's always a good thing after you catch two or three big fish. I don't care if it's on braid or or whatever to go ahead and just retie. So what we're gonna do at this point is we're gonna go ahead and retie this bait for us. I'm gonna show you a little bit. Maybe we can get a little bit here on camera. I'm gonna bring us down just a little bit. Okay, so um, now the other thing you've heard me mention before in my DVD, if you watched any of them, is when I throw braided line, whether it's with a frog or whatever, I color about the first three foot of it black with a black sharpie marks lot. So it's harder for them to see. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna do like a trilene knot with a keeper. So we're gonna run it through. It's gonna be hard to do this in the wind, but then we're gonna make a roller coaster loop come right back through on top of your line. If you look this up, it's gonna be a trilene knot, but except for the, the finale at the end. And we're gonna pull the main tag in line over this loop we just made, and this one over the loop. And we're gonna wrap it about six or seven times and we're gonna run it back through these two loops right here. Now that would be a trialing knot if we cinched it right there. But what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna slide my thumb forward and come right back through that loop right there that I just made. And I'm telling you folks, this, this knot will not slip. Grab it, cinch it down, and it is locked in. Swim bait fishing on Lake Fork right there, people. Old dear friend Charlie got him big old fat female. Don't say Charlie ain't got a girlfriend. There you go, Mr. Charlie. Oh, that's a good one. I like that springtime fishing with that swim bait, folks. We got a good one right here. Let's get this thing out of where I don't get a hook in my hand. Boy, they are solid. Look at that. Oh, he choked. Yes, sir. Show that thing, that camera right there, son. That's what I'm talking about. They get it much better than that. I can't stand it. Woo, we might have bumped eight mark, people. How about an eight pounder? Oh, that was amazing. <laughs> it's a little Lake Fork special right here. <laughs> this is a little baby. Jumping for joy. Look at that tail beat up on you. Another swim bait fish, Lake Fork. A little small one, but look at that tail. Boy, it's eat up. We move locations, same thing, fishing a windy hot hump, and got a little bit of results there. Ain't no monster, but we'll take him. Lake Fork.